So, uh, I finished, and well, I may have gone a bit overboard. So, if there's anything I've learned recently, it is that they are much chiller with water than I thought they were. So I should probably put that in notes. So, either way, if order doesn't work, we need to decommission the panic room. Or at least change it a bit. Because this is tiny and cramped, and the water does not help. So... I don't know what I'd do with the space, I guess. Well, since so many people have found my downstairs, or at least Percy found my downstairs, I guess I should have a more secret hiding spot for my things. For myself, maybe. That he won't know about, and that maybe just Woot won't find. Maybe somehow Woot won't find it. I don't trust loot. Oh. That's something to work on. lost in it a little bit. The the repetitive digging, you know, it just I think I think it the repetitive nature of it kind of made them bored. So I think it kind of I think it kind of it, it really I think helped, um but um because you know, some mm -hmm, things were not there for all of it, and it was nice, you know, I just having my brain to myself. Um, but, but I think, I think doing repetitive things helps. But, um, in that vein, uh, I may have gone a little overboard a bit. You see, very nice painting, nothing behind it, psych, secret door, secret tunnel. Secret tunnel in my base. Secret, secret tunnel. So I've dug out this room here. <clears throat> As you can see, there's nothing in it right now. Um, you know, I'm digging into some deeper stone layers. Um, not just dirt anymore. And I have I got another one over here, kind of smaller. <clears throat> and then, of course, I've got this room, which you may or may not recognize as being 
this over here, given that I cleared out the entire room and all the things that don't actually work anymore, i.e. the water, which I guess they were just pretending. <laughs> but now these two rooms are connected and I just have to decide what to put in them. I'm thinking, I'm thinking some farms in some of the side rooms, just try and create, since, since this area has totally been blown, covers blown, just create an under under base, secret base room for all of my stuff that just, because apparently, because Woot found this, but maybe, maybe if I do more rooms, well, Woot won't find them. Just, just keep expanding. Yeah. So anyway, I think it's about time we stick some farms back there. And well, I may have gone a bit overboard. Those of you in the corner might notice in the cheeky mini map um, that we've got a couple new areas over there. Um, and last time I dug them out, now you'll see what I've done with them. Um, so, going in through the easy way, through the painting. I say easy way and then I fail to do it. Um, and then over here, we've got what I like to call. Corn's Miscellaneous Room of Farms. This one is the one I'm most proud of because it's basically automatic. It's also terrible. Um, it drops stuff in all directions and it is not, it is not, it's not efficient at all. Um, but it's mine, so I like it. I designed it myself. Um, and we've got, you know, another ward farm. I'm just gonna twist that. And then over here, cactus farm. 
both cactus and uh, netherwort I need to harvest by hand, but that's fine. If it seriously irritates me, I'll futz around with redstone. But I think futzing around with redstone would be more irritating. That's not necessarily something I have time for. So, harvesting by hand it is. And besides, it doesn't it doesn't take all that long. It's not like I'm planting giant crop fields. Here. Um, and then if we continue further on, past my assorted random farm room, um, we get to my new bedroom, which is this. It's it's it's, it's an underground bunker. Setting my spawner. I've got cooldown disc here because I have a second copy of it. Um, and I've got food over here and potions and some backup armor and some blocks and some torches. You know, smoker, blast furnace, ender chest. Um, but the most important thing, to me at least, is, well, I've been having a hard time sleeping. It kind of sucks to admit that because, you know, I don't want to be having a hard time sleeping. You need sleep. Like, you need to be alert. Come on, corn. But I've been having a hard time sleeping. So um, when I made this carpet, I kind of, I took extra scraps of fabric and I sewed myself a little plushie. Um, so his name's Sir Beaselton. And, you know, sometimes it's just nice to cuddle something when you're scared. And so he goes by my bed. And so whenever I'm having a hard time sleeping, I just, you know, right there. Um, anyway, uh, past that room, we've got farm. We've got some glowberries. We've got carrots, potatoes. I consider doing melons and stuff, but, oh, some pumpkins, but, eh. And I've got some bone meal in here, and I've got composters to make bone meal. And then it's a cycle to nice circle out because this if we go up this sneak out there and then hop through over here so you could also go in over here i just find it easier to go in the other way and so those are the expansions i made um they're pretty useful and i have plenty of room for more expansions if i think of any um but I'm feeling a lot safer now that I know, first of all, my spawn isn't compromised anymore because it was, it was stupid. It was stupid to, ha to have my spawn set in my house where anyone could find it. They could trap my bed or something. So now I have one that's more hidden. Um, and now I have an underground area that's more hidden because Woot found my underground area. Thanks, Woot. Um, but hopefully we won't find these. So. I can officially declare my under underground areas, loot safe for now. We're just gonna have to hope we can't find them. Cause you know, I don't trust loot. Even if I'm working with Percy, don't trust loot. 